Good morning to all of you. Hope that you are doing very well today. Today, we embark on a journey to the captivating realms of wave magnets, light, and sound unit. These two natural phenomena are fundamental to our understanding of the universe and play a pivotal role in our everyday lives. Whatever we realize it or not, wave, mechanics, lights, and sounds shape our world and unlock the secret of the cosmos. Without further ado, let's get into it. Wave motion. This graph shown equilibrium position of wave. The highest point on wave is called rest and the lowest point name as throw. The distance between the two successive press or dome is called wavelength. And the amplitude is a maximum displacement between crest or throw and the equilibrium position of the wave. And the wave front is an imaginary line joining points on the wave at the same phase. Frequency is a total number of complete waves passing through a point in one second or number of oscillation per second. To calculate the energy of a wave is directly proportional to its amplitude and frequency. And where F is a frequency in the form of Hertz, T is a represent period in the form of second, and alpha is a wavelength in the form of meter. V is equals to the energy of the wave is equal to alpha divided by time. And you can cross or minimum or cross minus divided and multiply, you get the alpha F means for frequency. Transverse wave. Okay, before that, before I proceed, okay, this is a through and this is the crest. And from this position to this position is where we calculate the wavelength. And from this position and from this position is considered like one oscillation. It is a frequency, it's a number of oscillation per second. Transverse is a type of wave in which oscillation or vibration occur perpendicular to the direction of wave propagation. If you can see from this graph, it's run to the bottom. So this is the process where we have a situation compression. And when it goes up to the top, and this is where we see a reflection. The particles of the medium move in a direction that is perpendicular to the wave movement. Example one, a transverse wave is a water wave on the surface of a pond. This is an example. As the if travels across the water, the individual water particles move up and down perpendicular to the directions of the wave. Example two is an ocean. An ocean wave approach the shore. They rise and fall in a manner where the water move up and down or side to side while the wave travels horizontally towards the coast. And this motion of water is perpendicular at the right angle to the directions in which the waves are traveling. Meanwhile, if you look at longitudinal wave, it actually comprises of oscillation which vibrate, vibrate parallel to the directions of wave motion. Example, sound wave. Let's look into wave characteristic. Wave reflections, example given here is a water wave hitting a smooth flat wall. When the wave reaches the, the wall, 
they bounce back and travel away from it. Just imagine this is as the wave forming ripples and moving in the opposite directions from the wall. Meanwhile, if you look at wave reflections, let's look at example straw partially submerged in a glass of water. The part of the straw in the water looks bent and tighter, and this is similar to wave reflection, where a wave changes direction as it moves from one medium to another, causing it to appear to bend. And wave diffractions is a visualized water wave which is passing through a small opening in a radial. As the wave pass through the opening, they spread out into a semicolor pattern on the other side. And this spreading out of wave, when they encounter an obstacle or opening, is a form of wave reflections. Let's move on to the light. Reflections of light. Reflections of light is an image can be captured virtually. The image is naturally in motion. The image has the same size as an object. So if you put a mirror in front of you, the image is still upright, meaning it, it has the same orientation as object. And the distance of the image from the mirror, same as the distance of the object from the mirror. Reflections of light. A reflection is the bending of light when it travels from one medium to another medium of difference of equal density. In vacuum, speed of light is three times 10 to the power of eight meter per second. As light enters medium like glasses, its speed decreases, causing reduction in wavelength. In most cases, light changing its direction of motion. Example, when someone insert half of a stick into a water, and the image of the stick will appear as bent. Reflective index is means that is often denoted as n, whereby n is a measure of how much a particular medium can bend light. When light travels from less than like air to a denser medium like water, it bends or refracts due to the change in the speed of light. The refractive index of air is approximately about 1.0003, while depth of water is around 1.333. The formula for the refractive index is N equals to C divided by V, where N is referred to refractive index of the medium. C is the speed of light in a vacuum, approximately 2997924588 meters per medium, and V is actually referring to speed of light in a specific medium. Critical angle and total internal reflection. Reflection. Reflection occurs when light travels from a denser medium to a rarer, less dense medium. As light passes from the dense medium to a rare medium, it bends away from the normal an imaginary line perpendicular to the surface between the two medium and increase the angle of incidence, the angle between the internal light wave and the normal, the angle of reflections will also increase. And this trend continues until the angle of incidence reaches a critical value known as the travel along the boundaries between the two media which is considered like a critical angle. So at the critical angle, the angle of reflections become 19. Which means the reflected ray. So this critical angle is specific to the combination of media and depends on their reflective indices. So to calculate the critical angle for any medium is n equals to 1 divided by sin c. Sin c means that where c is referring to critical angle. If you can see from the first diagram, this is the dispersion of light, where it's actually a mixture that comprises of various light components with different color. 
frequency and wavelength. Therefore, due to the variation in wavelength, each color component of light experience a different refractive effect and bend at different angles relative to each other. Hence, the splitting of white light into a multicolor spectrum result in a phenomenon we call it as dispersion of lights. Let's look into this converging lens and ray diagram. What is actually this diagram explained is as a beam of a parallel light ray passes through a converging lens, this is considered as converging lens, the ray will undergo refractions. Okay, the ray will undergo refraction and focus at a point, at this point is known as principal focus. Okay, and the perpendicular distance between the principal focus to this ray length is called this ray length and goes to the x axis is called is known as a principal focus and the perpendicular distance between the principal focus and the length axis it knows as a focal length and is denoted as a symbol f this is x axis from this to this focus to this principal focus is called focal point and is denoted as m and this is a diagram about the construction of ray diagram for the ray image where is actually this is a picture where is the ray image um, this is what is trying to explain under the type of electromagnetic wave is about the spectrum moves towards the left yes the left this is towards the left it shows that the frequency decreases and the wavelength increases while the wavelength decreases the spectrum moves to the right, causing the frequency of the wave at the right to increase. And the energy of the electromagnetic magnetic wave is also directly proportional to their frequencies. Let's look into the type of electromagnetic wave uses and the dangers of excessive expo explosion. Like radio wave, Users in the broadcasting communication include television, telephone, conversations, radio broadcasts. And in terms of the risk or the danger or excessive exposure, we call it a nun. Microwave uses in the form of heating food, satellite communications for handful devices, and the danger will impact is directly hit internal body tissues resulting in serious damage before pain is felt. Infrared, the users will use infrared in terms of the heating devices or we use inside infrared heat sensor and the remote control. And what is actually implication is readily absorbed by the skin and can cause skin burning. Visible light we use by us to see things in photography or optical fiber. And in terms of the implication, is none. Ultraviolet, we use in the sunbeam, night vision device, and sterilizing water, and used to detect forgery of banknotes. And what are the implications? Over excessive exposure for skin to tan. Overexposure will lead to sunburn, blistering, skin cancer, and blindness. And X-ray, when we use the X-ray, we use in observe internal structure of object and materials and medical applications. We often see X-ray in the hospital. So the danger, 
this cell mutation and killing of immune cells and cancer. What is the effect? Where is the use of gamma ray? Gamma ray normally uses in terms of the threat, sterilizing food and equipment as well as treat certain types of cancer. And the danger is it will create cell mutation, killing of immune cells and cancer. Let's look on the topic sound. This to cover and the nature of sound waves. Sound waves are created by a vibrating object very accurately. When an object like turning fork vibrate, it creates a disturbance. In the surrounding mole molecules, this disturbance propagates as a series of compression and reflections leading to formation of sound waves. And sounds is indeed a logical hudinal with because the particles in the medium such as air vibrate in the same directions as the wave motion. Without the oscillating motion of particles, sound waves cannot be transmitted. This is why sound cannot travel through a vacuum where there is no medium for the particles to vibrate within. Because of its wave nature, sounds exhibit various phenomena like reflected, refracted and distracted. And these are the factors that affecting properties at sound wave. It could be in a form of a filter, louder. If you loud, if the sound loud, you can see this type of wave. If the sound lower pitch, this is how it looks like. And if high pitch, you can see this is the wave effects. The reflections of sound wave when a sound wave collides with a hard solid surface bounce off and a travel back in the opposite direction. We talk about reflection. So this is we call echo. So time taken for the echo to reach will be calculated by the distance times formula, where the formula is times equals to distance divided by speed. That's all for today. Presentation on the wave, mechanics, and lights. Hope that you do understand the presentation slide. If you would like to have this presentation, kindly email me. So I will provide you in forms of PDF. So that's all for today. Please don't forget to subscribe to Drone Stabila YouTube channel. Hoping to see you in the next presentation slide. Thank you very much.